I'm Ashley. And I'm Jada. And, and welcome, welcome back. So, as you probably know by the thumbnail, today we're going to take you on a little tour of the White House because we had a tour of the White House. And so we thought we would share that with you guys. We weren't allowed to um, take any video while inside the White House, and we weren't allowed to take any photographs. Flash photography. Yeah, flash photography, but on the outside, like, we want to take pictures where, like, you could see this ridiculousness of the security, like, just being so close. And they were like, no cameras. No cameras. <laughs> they didn't do that to us. They, they said, said to the people, people in front of us. us. And so I was like, okay, well, I'm glad that I didn't do that yet. Um, very we're really lucky because um, they have not been doing tours for over two years now since the beginning of COVID. Yep. Um, but you can request a tour um, at max three months beforehand. And so from like the day I was able to, I requested the tour um, and then they sent me an email back that was like, thank you for your inquiry. But at this time, they're not doing tours at the White House due to COVID regulations, yada, yada, mm -hmm. yada. Then they were like, but in case it comes up again, go ahead and submit, you know, your social security number and identification and stuff like that. So we could go ahead and do a background check in case something changes. And then the federal mandate changed, so the change did happen, and they emailed me back and were like, hey yo, you guys have a tour. And they only do it on Fridays and Saturdays because the White House actually hosts a lot of things. And so, you know, it's pretty exclusive. There was like 10, 11 people during our little group. And all through, like, each little group, you could kind of, because it goes in a circle, we could kind of see how many people there were. There was definitely no more than 50 the whole time over there. I think they used to do more tours. Probably. It, because this is, like, the second most toured house in the United States. But the Bel Belmont. The Belmont and the White House. And then Belmont. Grace. Is it Biltmore? Biltmore. It's Biltmore. The Biltmore being the first, and then the White House, and then I think Graceland may be the third. Um, and... Based on today's numbers, <laughs> it's not reaching 500,000 visitors a year. So, so we're going to take you through a little tour and kind of talk to you about each room. So this room, I think, was probably the coolest room. Um, they did have like Secret Service people posted in every room and you could ask them questions. But this guy was just like providing that information to you right off the bat. And it's a great room and they have hosted several events this week already mm -hmm. and um one of them was a mental health awareness thing and like selena gomez was there obama had hamilton come and like perform which and it's called the great ballroom but it's not actually that big in my opinion like we've been to a lot of ballrooms maybe it's because they're in europe or something but the <laughs> ones in like in Versailles were mad. They were like three times the size of that. Maybe it's not called a grand ballroom. So it's just like, you know. Yeah, but it's the smaller. largest room in the White House. In the White House or in the East Wing? Is it in the White House? That's really cool. So you see this portrait of George Washington that was in the great room. Great ball. I don't want to call it great room. In the ballroom, whatever. Um, it was saved during the, was it 1882 that the White House was lit on fire by the British? I don't know, but First yeah. Lady Madison <laughs> saved it and yes, a bunch of uh, fine china. That is in that downstairs room that we'll show a little picture here. And so, um, we, and we got a little photo with old George, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We were like, this is kind of cool. We'll just take I a I got picture. photos of a lot of the president's yes. portraits. Here's Although I'm wondering like what, how they decide on which president's portraits they're going to put up. And go where. You should have asked and go security where. Guards. Although they might not. They're not security guards. Secret service people. Which one of the tidbits that we learned was the secret service people were actually initially in charge of um, counterfeit money. Because back in the 1800s. One in every three U.S. currency was counterfeit, so they were. Seems like a lot. Yes, so they were in charge of like. Like while were all these bank robbings happening, you know, like just, just make, make your own money. money. But after 
they they did such a good job that they kind of didn't have as much of a job anymore. Mm -hmm. And then after 1901, when President McKinley was assassinated, which is his picture that they have in the far left of this room, um, the Secret Service like they were like, hey, this is your job now, which is a massive switch in job roles. <laughs> and yeah, they're like they're like now you're gonna guard the president full time. You must be willing to die for this man. And I'm like. I just think of like at companies and stuff where you like you're like I started at this position and this is what my role was and then they've not changed the title of your position but your role is completely <laughs> different like can you imagine um and so I thought that little tidbit was very cool mm -hmm. you could see from like the blue rooms and the green rooms here like you could see the um Washington Monument out the windows there it's a little hard to see because it's backlit but <laughs> They're there. And the blue room is where, like, when guests of the White House come, they will, like, wait there. So, it's kind of like a reception area almost. Yeah. Um, which I was like, oh, that's that's nice. I mean, what do you do, though? Like, you're, like, waiting for the president. You're just like... Nice room. Um, but then you've got... They've got just different color rooms. It's green, and then it's blue, and then it's red. And then you get to the dining hall, which is a massive dining hall. And these flowers on this dining room table are real as well. We, all of them are real. I know, all, all of them are real. Are we real. got to touch some really pretty ones. Here's a little picture of us being in awe because these were gorgeous. They were really big too. Oh my goodness. But we couldn't touch those. They were so broke. Yes. And they told us this huge dining room table that's here under this big portrait of Lincoln. They don't even use that table when they have people. Really. They just said that the, earlier that week they had 10 dignitaries that had came. And they completely removed this table and set up 10 smaller tables. So they like each of them and no, their own posse get a 14 table. 14 smaller tables. They hold 10 people apiece. Oh, they have okay. like 140. Okay. Yeah. Because I was like, oh, there were 10 dignitaries. So it was just one table he set up. He was like, Ash was like. Jada. You know they had uh, different the, people with them. Yeah. And we say dignitaries, but I think, like, I, I don't really know who they were. I mean, they didn't tell us who. That's exactly what he said. Yeah, he was like, some people came. And this picture of President Lincoln, interestingly enough, was entered into a contest for likeness of Lincoln and lost the contest. But Lincoln's son was like, I really like this, actually. And he got it. And then they bequeathed it to the White House afterwards. And so, now it's seen by hundreds of thousands of people every year on tour. Well, and people that are just coming to eat there, you know? So he is the real winner. He might have lost the contest, but he won it live. <laughs> I want to find out where the contest winter, like, winner, the contestant who won. I want to see where his is hanging. <laughs> but they didn't say that. Yeah. And the didn't. security guard. He was not one of the helpful ones. He did not know the answer to that. No, he did not. <laughs> um, then we come around. And we came out. Oh, here's a picture. Ashley was talking about she doesn't know how the portraits like lined up and stuff and who, why, some who got what. But here's her with Kennedy. I mean, this is like one of the most famous pictures of Kennedy is his like sad looking down face. So we started this tour on the first floor, but we started telling you guys about the second floor. <laughs> on it the first an floor, interesting floor. <laughs> on the first, well, they're both kind of first, like they're both kind of ground floors because one is a ground floor to the garden, one is a ground floor to like where yeah, the cars both go out to ground. <laughs> yeah, so but there was a lovely picture of the garden that Jackie O kind of helped make, and then as you went down the hall, you saw pictures of like the presidents with their animals, and I shot this picture because. This first lady had a raccoon as a pet, which I thought was <laughs> just very interesting. And the movie theater that used to be a coat room. <laughs> and it says that when they have uh, big events, it reverts back into a coat room. Yes. These people have to coordinate and shuffle this place a lot. It says that every time they have tours, that they roll the rugs up yeah. so that they don't have like the thing and put out but the they ropes. have to rope them yeah they don't yeah. go walking on and so they put those out every morning and when the tours close at is it 4 four thirty-five, something it's like 10 to 5 or 10 to 4 something like that or where the hours that they currently are um someone immediately comes in puts all the ropes up and puts the carpets down so it goes back into being like home sweet home 
Except for everything looks like it's in a museum. But also, the whole time that I'm watching this, I'm just like, you know, some of these things don't work out whenever I watch like, you know, what's the Channing Tatum one? You've got White House Down and then Olympus is Fallen. I'm thinking the White, White House, House Down, Down is the one. And like the girl is like live streaming through part of it and like and I'm like, no. They yeah. were hardcore no about video or streaming. Oh yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And then they're talking about like I'm just like, now I wanna rewatch this movie and be like wasn't he in the Oval Office at one point? That's in the West Wing. But then they're also at the Residence. And I'm like, how'd he get from one to the other? And like, yeah, it's been a while since I've seen it. And I'm just like, I don't know. I just don't know. And so, it's a movie. It's a movie. It is a movie. Oh, but, you forgot to tell. In the Blue Room, they were saying that a bunch of the pieces were stolen and, uh, and sold and stuff like that. And people did not even realize that they had pieces of furniture that belonged to the White House and so some people like threw it away and once it was made public like that they were missing this this and that and stuff some people did end up returning them I think some people just kept them that's what he black said black marketed them or they say threw them away more like uh I don't want to get in trouble because we were a part of the theft <laughs> now he did say he was like I think some people found out that they had the White House stuff and they were like ooh I'm just gonna keep this <laughs> gonna get this for a minute yeah. cause it's not like they have like little things that are like thank you to so and so for returning our property they're not even get anything for I don't know, it maybe, we, went to the, we went to the visitor center but we didn't look at every single thing which by the way they should mark where the visitor center is just a, a little, little more clearly bit. but um, they, um it's not like we read everything so maybe there was something in there like we said we got this stuff from the white house gift shop do you um, want to get it in children oh i thought we were just take pictures of it no we could get it. i mean it's just right there okay I've been pleasantly surprised by the gift shops in the federal buildings because the the prices are not, in my opinion, outrageous. This is yours. This is mine. Well, also, I mean, compared to when you like vacation other places, how much yeah. this stuff is. But the I thing mean, is, is we didn't have to pay for the White House tour, so it's like you know. I mean, like, look, I got this puzzle, 500 piece puzzle. For my dad for ten dollars a puzzle at walmart costs ten dollars that's true this is an exclusive white house you can only get this puzzle on a white house tour is that what they said yeah are you sure i do know that we did get these and this bookmarks. painting this painting is in the white house as well these are bookmarks are exclusive they are exclusive in the White House, and I got a couple of them. Me too. And then I got some postcards. We're each going to take a couple of them. And then I got a notebook from my husband, as well as... I got this. I got this magnet. It's not exclusive. You can also get it at the uh, visitor center. I got it my golf towel. Because <laughs> I live in Florida, and he likes to golf. And so I was like... this. So this was not cheap though. This was twenty five dollars. Yeah, uh, but it's in border. No, it is like in border. So. You know, it, it feels good quality, but it was a splash out for me, like a big one. I don't know how much y'all spend on your hand towels, but I think mine were like five dollars. So I know it's not a hand towel; it's a golf towel, but and it came with like a little thing that you can hook it on the golf cart. I don't know if he'll actually use it because he might be worried about like I doubt it getting ruined. But I still thought. It'd be a nice little gift. And then, they gave me this huge bag to put it in. Isn't the bag nice? Yeah, it's the White House. <laughs> so, you know, I'm like, that's kind of a souvenir in and of itself. I don't think I'll be, I'll give a Christian his towel in it, and then I'll be like, this is not to just give to people? I mean, I don't know. But, so, um, and then, we went outside and here we were able to take some video again. So, there you go. So, we're like outside of the courtyard so we can video here, but still the barrier, like where normal people can't get through. Normal people. Like, but we had to go through a whole process, like yeah. to get approved, like, and, and backgrounds done and stuff like that. So, right here is just our open space of us getting through. Look at all the police cars. So many. It's craziness. So 
so many uh, Secret Service people. They're the ones that checked us in. I was not expecting just like Secret Service to be We were not allowed to take photos there. No. They were like, no. I'm not photos for you. I guess it's a security thing. Yeah, I get it. Let's do the outro. Oh, this is the this is the treasury. This is the entrance to the treasury. So let's go stand in front of the treasury to do it with the statues and all. Maybe we shouldn't do it with that. It'd, it'd go better if he held it. It'd be better if he held it. Is it recording? It's already recording. Yeah. Literally gave him a phone and said it's still recording, but he hit stop. And then when he gave it back to us, he hit record again. So we just saw it been recorded and hit stop, but didn't notice there's no outro. So. Thanks for joining us, and thank you for our new Patreon sponsors and supporters. We appreciate you guys. Click the like button, hit and subscribe. Thanks, bye! Ashley and Jada are twins.